At the Office for National Statistics, we publish statistics about the size and structure of the population that organisations use to make important decisions about local services, like deciding how many school and hospital places an area might need, or where to put a new supermarket. To make these decisions, people need the most up-to-date information about the changing shape of our population. To estimate the population, we start with census data. This is collected every 10 years. Every year, we add births and people who move into the country or local area and remove people who have died or who have moved away. We need to make sure that data about births, deaths and migration from numerous data sources and systems are received, processed and quality assured. When this is done, the statistics are ready for decision makers to use about a year later. But the accuracy of these estimates declines as we move away from the census year. And because our population is changing more rapidly than ever, decision makers need this information faster. To meet this need, we're exploring new and innovative ways to create population statistics, which is why we've developed the Dynamic Population Model, or DPM. The DPM still uses information about births, deaths and internal and international migration, but it also uses new information in different ways to get the best from available data. We've built the DPM to produce statistics that are flexible and resilient. It uses a wide range of data sources, like linked administrative data, which is information that we all share when we access public services like the tax, benefits and health systems. The DPM also uses data about births and deaths, students and schools, and much more. And, because it doesn't rely on a single data source, it can produce high-quality population estimates on time, even when a data source changes. We've also designed it to be accurate and timely. The DPM balances the count of the population alongside local and national migration. This makes sure that our population estimates are consistent and accurate and means we can produce provisional population estimates within six months of the reference date. For example, we were able to produce mid-year population estimates for 2022, four months ahead of the planned official estimates. This also shows how responsive and smart the DPM can be, quickly spotting when patterns and trends have changed, as it did with the mid-year population estimates for 2022, showing how the population had moved around after the coronavirus pandemic. To improve our population estimates, it can also tell when data are incomplete. For example, it spotted changes in health data we use, which meant that we could decide how best to use them. To make sure that we produce secure, high-quality, reliable population statistics, independent external experts have peer-reviewed the methods we use in the DPM. Our population estimates also need to meet a quality standard that is close to the level delivered in census years. We expect the DPM admin-based population estimates to meet this level of quality year after year. To find out more about the dynamic population model, visit the ONS website.